PSL or IPL? Mm, let's talk about that on Hogs Vlog. IPL and PSL, IPL first, the positives. The top order make the majority of the runs. They're very conservative in the power play. They hardly lose any wickets there. And if you look at the T20 international team of India, that's the way they play. Number two, spinners do the bulk of the damage in the bowling department. They create the pressure and get the wickets. And uh, number three, home and away fixturing. There's an even component of, or same amount of games for per team to play away as well as home. So you can create a fortress on your home soil. In doing that, it lengthens the tournament. It goes for over two months and that middle period can get a little bit tedious. Now, let's go over to the PSL, the advantages there. Well, firstly, the top order, they lose a lot more wickets in the power play. But what that does creates pressure on the middle order and the middle order has stood up during the PSL. That's where the bulk of the runs have been made. And if you look at Pakistan, that number one in the world in T20 cricket, the reason being is that they've got a long batting order. Number two, in the bowling department, it's pace that is the strength. The pace does the damage and uh, that has a two-way effect. It creates a lot of depth in pa uh, Pakistan fast bowling, but Pakistan batting struggles against pace bowling when they tour abroad. So they're exposed under pressure to pace bowling, so it's developing the batting in Pakistan. And uh, number three, the tournament's short and sharp. It's over and done with in four weeks, but what that does, it creates more double headers and uh, that makes less viewership in those day games. Because people are at work, they can't get to those particular games. And the uh, other disadvantages, uh, disadvantage is that teams can't have home ground advantage because the tournament's so condensed, they've got to play it in uh, the capital city. So a team like Moulton was only able to play three home games this year, so you can't have that advantage of the home fortress. Now when we go to the IPL, IPL has got a huge advantage over every other T20 tournament. Why? Because it got on the front foot from the very start when T20 came in and made a popular tournament its own. And what it did, it had big money brought in with uh, team owners able to buy or bit spend big money on foreign players as well as local players. So it attracted the international market. And what that did, it created pressure on cricket boards all around the world because they're seeing their players get this big money from a particular tournament. So what did it do? They couldn't really keep up with some of the payments these players were going uh, getting. So they had to create a window in their calendar to allow those uh, international players to go and play in this particular tournament. So well done to the IPL there for creating that pressure. But also the IPL is always going to be marketable because India have got 16% of the population of the world. So there's a huge market there when you put it in that perspective. But Pakistan people, PSL, be proud of what you've achieved. You've got a tournament that has had so many roadblocks. You've had to try and attract international players to come and play on your shores. You had to play this uh, tournament, the PSL, in the UAE so that you could have foreign players coming. But gradually, you open the doors to your country. You, we, uh, you, you allowed foreign players to come in for short spurts uh, short parts of the tournament to play on Pakistan soil. And eventually we got the PSL on home soil for a whole tournament. And the foreign players came. And what does that do? It puts pressure on cricket boards around the world to tour Pakistan now for an international series. So it's done its job. And the other thing is the PSL has got a huge opportunity here to really make a huge profit with their product what they can do to uh, make sure they get the better overseas players is make sure they have a window for that four week tournament where the nations like the West Indies, England and Australia aren't playing whiteboard tournaments against other nations and then you'll get more international players or high quality international players into your PSL, but mind you, there was a lot of high quality international players there this year. Well, after going through all that, PSL or IPL? Mm. 
It's even Stevens for me. I love both tournaments. They provide such great entertainment. Brilliant cricket all around. Now, uh, we've got the coronavirus out there. I hope you're all staying safe, but hopefully this virus will get rid of it sooner than later because I am getting withdrawal symptoms of not having live cricket on the TV. Such a great tournament, the IPL. We need it being played at some stage. So hopefully we can see it sooner than later on our big screens. Now, if you like what I'm doing, get on this little bell. I'll give you a notification of when the next video is coming out. And by the way, there's some left arm leg spin coaching coming your way on Hogs Vlog. And that's going to help the right arm leg spinners out there as well. And batsmen, you might learn how to play against the uh, leg spin. What a great art it is. It bamboozles all you batsmen out there. But stay safe. Enjoy.